The petroleum tanker drivers and liquefied petroleum gas LPG drivers have announced an indefinite strike starting from Monday, June 26, 2023. They are demanding the rehabilitation of roads in the petroleum enclave of Tema, Takradi, Kumasi and Buipe. A visit to the Volta Aluminium Company Vako Pung Road in Tema revealed numerous packed tanker vehicles along the road, indicating the drivers' participation in the strike. The tanker drivers have taken this step to amplify their demands for improved road conditions. They also want the government to expedite action on addressing the poor road network, which has detrimental effects on their health and vehicles. Despite their efforts to engage the Ministry of Roads and Highways, the drivers claim that their concerns have ignored. Some drivers expressed their frustrations to City News emphasizing the significant impact of the situation on their well-being and vehicles. The road from Vaku runabout to Pum, and this is where we transport the fuel from. This is store. You understand? There is one depot to the other side. Then from Tor, you go to fuel trade. Tor, we do both white product, ATK, and then gas. And this is gas plant. So look at the depth of this road. When a tanker fully loaded, 54,000 or 45,000, enters this road, we have something we call the feet wheel. We call it the tent table. It's something very small which is holding the tanker, the head to the bulk. That thing can break here. And with the petroleum product, when the car falls, it is iron, though it will cause a spark. This thing should go on if you go to different countries. Uh, a whole Ghana oil refinery. Or a whole Ghana refinery. Look at our road. You yourself, you see, you can see example right now. At times, it rain for traffic to stop here. A lot of whole things, is, activities are. It's not only tankers alone. Our depots, warehouses are here, as my friend said uh, 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 right now. So it's not need to beg government. You understand? It's not need to beg government because we vote for government. So government to, to do our, our demands. You understand? So. If you're not in, if you're not conveying the fuel to the to the to the customer side, the, 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 the country will not go on. This particular stretch, we don't know. All the leadership knows we have oil industries here. When I load, it, 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 it can take you almost like 30 minutes or to 40 minutes to even pass through. Especially when it, if it rains. Then you need to drive slowly before you get to yard. Then even you are even stressed before you even hit the road. You see, so you see, say we work more, but your you use your salary to even go to hospitals and be treating yourself. We have contact all the leaderships to even support to watch the road for you, but still we haven't got any idea. So as we the drivers, the way it's affecting us, most sometimes to even our tracks, the maintenances. Our directors do. Let if maybe at the end of the year you think, oh, I have work, and even I use my money for some particular uh, hospitals and things. Even for our, our, our directors to give give us bonuses because of this road and maintenance, we don't have no bonuses. Raymond Aflo, the general secretary of the Ghana National Petroleum Tanker Drivers Union, appealed to the government through City News, urging them to pay attention to their demands and facilitate the resolution to enable the drivers to resume work. The road that has been given to him, the expansion of the road, what will the expansion of the road do? So, there are so many, we have seven terminals, seven to eight terminals on that very enclave. Sonia Sogli, left, when you branch the left, we have the, them there, the power, Companies are there, Ashka, uh, Tema, Power, and others, they are all there. And including the depots, they all have liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, attached to the depots. Whereby you can load petrol, you can load diesel, you can load LPG gas. So, in case 
a gas tr a truck fell down and there was an explosion. Who can near the situation? So we are appealing. Now, we are not the one who awarded the contract, neither are we the consultants to the road. So we only want the government bring the dozens on the road, clear the main road, compact it with the roller compacting machines, and let it be motorable for the tanker driver to apply.